What's up, everyone, and welcome to I Hate My Friends, episode number nine, your podcast about nothing, where the various show hosts from across Save the Game Media's podcast network come together and chat about whatever we want. I'm your host, Kevin, aka The Muffin Mon, and today I'm joined by uh, our, our basically the blue team over here, the, the No Limits crew. We have uh, the host of No Limits, a PlayStation podcast, Taylor. How are you doing, buddy? Hey, man. Breathing oxygen. How about you? breathing oxygen what an exciting update like that's the most just uh, i'm alive no no to be to, to, to be real i just uh got back to my college town for my last semester a couple hours ago so i uh got my stuff unloaded unpacked and now i'm here cool cool well, i'm glad you can make it we're Thanks. also joined by the fabulous brianna herself how are you i'm doing well doing well um again like i was saying before the show avoiding laundry Mm -hmm. um which is like whatever i want to do uh, or i guess i should do i'm really good at avoiding it so i rearranged my entire desk which is actually way more of a chore than it than it sounds because i have a bunch of like crystals um on my desk and i have to take all of them off um which there's a lot of them so now what is what are these crystals for mm. math well one they look really pretty like let me let me grab this dish this dish is my favorite <laughs> See, it's like a little dragon and like a bunch of like crystals. It's pretty cool. Um, so it's like looks really cool, but then also like positive vibes. Um, particularly the positive vibes are going to be coming from my honeycomb calcite, which is my favorite stone. And I have this giant chunk, and then I have another giant chunk over there. Do you there know the chemical dragon. formula for calcite? I oh don't, Lord. but I love calcite, so I would love to. Okay, hear as someone with a geology major, I feel obliged to call you out. So it's calcium carbonate. So it's calcium. CaCO3, mm -hmm. calcium with a carbonate group. I knew that. I have That's a chemistry cool. minor. Oh, look at you. I'm going to give you a little sticker right now. Yeah, go. Go. Little star. Go, 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 yeah, go start. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. guys, if you like I Hate My Friends, we are on YouTube over at Save the Game Media every Wednesday. We are also on all of your favorite podcast services. So make sure to go over there, drop us a sub, follow us on the audio feeds, leave us a five-star review on Apple or Spotify, just like uh, Apple with a little uh, face at the end did, who says, what goes on behind the scenes? Well, this show gives you an insight to what goes on behind the <laughs> scenes at Save the Game Media. Episodes dedicated to hosts allow me to connect with them and helps with the context of their other shows. Highly recommended. Uh, and they spelled recommended wrong, but we're going to ignore that. Oh, we shut up, Kevin. Uh, listen, I get a little, a little OCD. It's like that meme Ethan put in the Discord yesterday where it was the wrong form of your, okay? Like, it's, yeah. a, it's a whole thing. I actually, tangent had a uh, friend say that he could not date a girl because they were using the wrong form of there. He literally <laughs> sent it, sent it to the group chat and was like, I'm out guys. Like she ruined it. And I was like, all right, bro. <laughs> was it, was this one time thing or was it an irregular occurrence? No, this is, this is a regular, like it, that's, that's one of his like deal breakers. If you, if you don't use the, the proper grammar, mm -hmm. he's single still, by the way, if anyone's interested. Yeah. Sounds like an incel. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an incel. You might listen to the show, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well yeah. listen it's okay if you're <laughs> if, if you're that worried about the use of there like what else are you worried about well what if what if someone says you're with you are is he gonna oh yeah gonna, no, like, so, so, same gonna, energy like, his pants or something same know? energy yeah for okay. sure you know what i want to do is i want to figure out how to say there incorrectly so that way you know that you're misspelling it i don't think as you, you know as you use it it's a hama what is it it's like a homophone or something like yeah all they all the sound the same but you got to figure out how to say it differently no. so that way you can irritate people verbally no, as well. that's not how it works <laughs> they're all the same they're all the same isn't like a homophone or a homologue or a homo you, you, you know what really bothers me and this is like a new thing because people are becoming more illiterate as uh, time goes on. Is, yeah, I don't read. Is R and R like A R E or O U R? They're mm -hmm. literally like, oh, R family, and they'll put A R E, and I was like, that's not that's not the the right one. You're using it wrong. Like so, our. Yeah, it I should be know. our. Like. Okay, I can't talk. I mispronounce things all the time, but I know I do it, and I don't correct it. So. I say milk. So. Is I it say data? Milk. Is it data or data? I say, I say data. data. I think I, I switch between data. the two. Oh, I say milk. You say I milk? Say, milk. Yeah, with an E. Milk. Yep. I also say pillow. No, that one's weird. Mm -hmm. nope. You, you want to know? The what one that's pillow? like really. What is pillow? Like, what, is that? pillow? what you sleep on. Oh, like, a pillow. Pe pillow. 
Ah, it's not a pellet. It's a pillow. <laughs> no, no that, it's a pillow. <laughs> that one I can't look by, Rhea. Okay, look wait. That no, one. There, that one's not even the worst one. The worst one? Okay. So, like, I can say it correctly. I just never do because, like, I, I don't – like, I have to think about it to pronounce it correctly. Good. Think um, But, like, more. you can say it, like, mirror, right? So, like, mirror. the reflective service – or yeah. surface, excuse me. I say mirror. Mirror. <laughs> no, mirror. No. no. I say mirror. <laughs> I used to have a speech impediment when I was like little that I had to work on and mirror like words with double R's were, were really tough for me. Like Fair. mirror or drawer or I was just gonna say drawer, draw. Yeah. yeah. I say mirror, so, so I, I know that I'm doing it wrong, but I'm not going to fix it. I know drawer isn't spelled with two R's. I'm talking about phonetic pronunciation. <sighs> Listeners yeah. don't kill me. No, yeah, I, I understand. Yeah. Uh but Guys, I also have to give our <laughs> Patreon shout out. So if you want to support us and get early access to all Save the Game Media's content, head on over to patreon.com slash save the game media. Choose the tier that's right for you, just like our current Patreon supporters, Bucky Blue, Hopple, Alpaca Tom, SAZ, Fabulous Brianna, and Brianna's mom. Thank you yeah. for your support. We appreciate every single one of you. Now, this is I Hate My Friends, our first week without uh, focusing on one of our co-hosts and uh, grilling them. And the format for anyone that's new or listening for the first time, uh, which are the same things. I don't know why I said that. But uh, yeah. we're basically going to each bring one topic uh, to discuss throughout the show. We might get to all of them. We might not get to all of them. We can save them for the next week. But we're going to go around the room, bring up a topic, have a discussion. If that sounds fun, great. And if you're a patron... I just put up the thread going forward. You can drop topic suggestions. So head on over to the Patreon. Ooh. There's a pinned thread. Put your topic suggestions there, and we'll bring you into the show with us. Taylor, you said you wanted to go first. So uh, what's your what's your topic, buddy? Oh, absences. You're in the topic of absence. Because we know we happen to be missing. Let me count. So mm -hmm. we are missing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I see what's happening here. We You're got missing some beef. Amon, Jemmy, Ethan, Tom. So now we're at four. Garrett's Sam. never here. Sam, five. Well, Sam gets a little bit of a pass because he's in, in a he's really busy. tough time zone. <laughs> I so work busy. for IGN. We're missing like four possible other people that are that could swing in here at any given time right now. And mm -hmm. I, it's just you know what I want to I want to give I want to give. Uh, Tom, like a little bit of leeway because he was very clear that he had like picked up and it's it's like nope, can't he do picked that. up extra work. <laughs> I'm giving him leeway. Everybody nope. else, like Ethan replies last second. Yeah, sorry guys, can't Why come. does he <laughs> think his job <laughs> comes like, before we didn't this podcast? Coming. Exactly. That's true. That's I true. don't understand. I pay him exposure. Uh, what what does he possibly want here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, and also, we haven't even heard from Amon. Like, Amon uh, didn't even, like, yeah, Jenny I, didn't yeah. say anything. Sam yeah. didn't say anything. Also known as a man. I yeah. know why Amon isn't here. It's he's because moving. he's watching. Sports. No, no, he's he's moved in now. He moved yesterday. Oh, what but, a bitch. What is he, what's he doing? Uh, yeah, he, he recorded a podcast yesterday. Liverpool gonna... just lost one to two oh. to Manchester United, so he's depressed. Mm. Tell him to man up. No, they haven't won a game yet this season. He's pretty low at the Give moment. Give him some toxic masculinity to man up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Pick mm -hmm. himself up by the no, seriously, Amon, get on here. No one cares about your soccer team. If my team's lost, I would still come on. I would just be, you know, have Angry. my head down. Yeah, depressed the whole show. With my hair down. And it, it would be wet, so it's like jet black hair running down. <laughs> my hair was wet yesterday like when we were recording. Oh, when when the you took a shower, wow. Oh, look at you. Okay. Yeah, well, I like did blow dry my hair so it like looked dry, but like like it was not dry. <laughs> That's why my hair's all crazy today because as soon as the show is over, I like tied it up in a bun, and this is what happens when I put it in a bun. Is it just it like, all scrunched? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So this is what happened, and oh well, it looks cute. So we're just gonna live with it. There you go. So. Was your was your actual topic just calling out our co-host then show? Up? Yeah, that was one of them. That was a great topic. I really enjoyed that topic. That, that was one. You, we have a rule. Oh, I don't know if we should carry it over to I Hate My Friends or if it just stays on No Limits. But if somebody's not there, like it's like free reign to talk shit. I, we talk so. shit about them. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you guys don't always, yeah. Sam's parents don't want to hear from us anymore. It's mm -hmm. gotten bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think Taylor's missed more episodes, but who's counting? Uh, <laughs> I... I I was gardening and I needed to get new blinker fluid for my car mm. and 
I I don't know if you guys are I don't know I I don't know the like recording schedule like I thought all three of you were there yesterday were you not we were no we were oh, we were okay all right, all right. We're just yeah talking. there was no we we couldn't talk shit yesterday mm-hmm. I run a type shit over here I know I know what everyone's doing at all times all right mm-hmm. uh, Kev, for listeners Kev does run a pretty tight ship all intents and purposes he's kind of a manager. I try not to micromanage, but like so, sometimes. No, all right, not I'm micromanage. Sure. I said manage. There's okay, a difference. Okay. But sometimes, you know, it's like Sunday morning and, and no one's told Amon what the thumbnail is. All right. I got to like, all right, um, guys, maybe. We yeah, Amon should just dig deep and think about it. I don't know. And then sometimes <laughs> Why doesn't Brianna's mind? wake up at 4 a.m. And mm-hmm. Kevin's just awake mm-hmm. and I like have to turn on my PC. It's to 7 a.m. <laughs> for me. I'm three hours ahead of you. <laughs> I had just barely gone to sleep like an hour or two before. And oh, like, that, that fountain like ran out of water and it scared the like, like it literally w- woke me up because it scared me. And so I couldn't go back to sleep. And so I turned my PC on. And I was like, all right, let's let's be productive. I and then I went the right back to sleep. I was Ugh. at the gym. I was I was I was doing some cardio, giving oh, you access. There you go. Yeah, yeah, Sunday for sure. I, I go oh, Sunday, craziness. Sunday through Friday. I go Saturday my, off. My schedule will be Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday for lifting, and then the other three days will just be active rest because I have quite a walking campus, so I'm getting my cardio every day, no matter what. I miss walking around like campus or even the hospital I used to work at. It's I feel fun, like dude. I, mm-hmm. I, I love walking. So much more exercise just from like going to places. I love walking and listening to stuff. I'm just mm. it's like. Mm-hmm. Come on, Bree. Okay. You know, like Come on. The only don't time walk. I go on, well, okay. So the only time I go on walks is uh, like if I'm too lazy to go get my car. Um, and then what I walk you... to like Starbucks. What about walking for the sake of walking? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I used no. to. Well, okay. So I actually had this discussion the other day, but I basically like when I live in California. Um, two, I don't have any friends in California, so like but you're in San Francisco. I don't it's very walkable. Walk. No, I'm in San Jose. Wait, while you're in San Francisco, what? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh my God, mind blown. Yeah, I'm in San Jose. Why do um, I think? Is I don't San know. Jose... I do like San Francisco, but is San Jose. Where's San Jose near? I've been to South... Pasadena, it's South Southern it's, California. It's right. No, it's right next to San Francisco. Oh, like it's wait, right no. next to it. <laughs> Whoops. It's like I like a 30, 45 I'm minute of San Diego, drive, aren't I? depending on. Probably yeah. Yeah, thirty to forty-five a, minute drive. Okay. There's a lot of San. So, so it's it's like yeah. yeah it's like it's just down the bay like it's all considered bay area but yeah san oh, okay. jose that's um, why you said bay area that's why i can mm-hmm. thought of it. yeah yeah so i live in i live in san jose but yeah i do love san francisco um i lost my train of thought as to what we were talking about before but i do like san walking francisco. oh yeah so california is mm, perhaps not i would say utah is probably more safe than california just in general yeah you're right just in utah, um, you have a lot of polygamy <clears throat> The Mormons. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And the, it's so crazy. I don't know if you guys watch that documentary, the Keep Sweet Pray, whatever. Like I've like I've seen those people around. Like what I know the people. It's like an FLDS documentary. It's what really messed mean? up. Highly recommend it. Um, fundamentalist uh, LDS. So it's like oh. it's the Church of Latter Day Saints of Jesus Christ, but like so it's Mormons, but like fundamentalist Mormons. Yeah, like the, so they're like a different branch of Mormonism. I met a and decent so, Mormon before. Yeah, that's that's pretty rare. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just I've seen the Book of Mormon. That was a really good. I want to watch that so bad. Anyways, um, so yeah, so growing, I grew up around tons of Mormon people. I was Mormon at one point, so on and so forth. So oh. like the FLDS is like so interesting to me. Like seeing that documentary because like if you've been anywhere around like the Cedar City area, you've seen these people. They're literally everywhere. And so it's like I like I I knew the people that they were talking about, not literally, but like I've seen them around kind of thing. Okay. So it was a really interesting documentary. Highly recommend. Very messed up though. Just like trigger warning. Awesome. Um it's it's so. kind of I, I I it's probably not a one to one, but in uh, in upstate New York we have um, little areas of like some Amish people or like Hasidic oh. Jewish people and like oh, yeah. you'll, Williamsburg Brooklyn yeah you'll occasionally see like them just like in their uh, horse carriage going to Walmart and I'm mm-hmm. like where where are you going <laughs> like yeah, yeah so I would say I I do want to definitely give credit like the Amish people are like very different to like FLDS. Um, Amish people, like from what I understand, are going to be like a lot. Um, 
I don't want to say nicer because it's not that they're mean people. It's like so that still a patriarchal like, misogynistic religion. Just not right. to the extent of Mormonism. <laughs> I'm sorry right. to say. The right. purpose so, of women in Dutch in the Amish country is still to child bear and keep the house. Yeah, but they seem to be like a little bit more well rounded. Like slightly not as bad, I guess. And 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 FLDS, like especially if you watch this documentary, it's like it was like bad. Like they were having like twelve year olds, thirteen year olds get married to like 30, 40 years old. Oh great. And yeah. <laughs> like it was like it was like bad, bad. Um I don't know, like, what's going on now. Like, the documentary doesn't really cover, like, because they just, like, arrested the leader, basically. And they didn't cover, like, what's going on in the religion now. They were basically just talking to a bunch of people that left the religion. Um, and, like, what happened with the leader that got arrested and stuff. So, it was really crazy. Anyways, off of the tangent, <laughs> Utah in general is, like, is way safer. And I would feel comfortable just, like, walking around by myself. In California, unless it's like daytime, like bright daytime, so it's basically too hot to go out, um, then I don't really want to walk around by myself because like people will just like yell at you like randomly um, mm. and like follow you randomly. Oh, and so shit. The only time I go on walks by myself is like if I can go with somebody else. Um, I guess it's a lot different if you're a man. I don't have, yeah, it is. It is a lot different God if you're a man. It. Always is. Um, I hate this country. I mean, <laughs> Listen, so I'm one of two men in my in my workplace, um, and I will nice. ask I will ask my my work friends to go for like lunchtime walks. If I'm not there, the tr truck drivers that drive by will honk at them. Mm -hmm. Like it oh happens my God. happens consistently, and then mm -hmm. what, like because they've told me when I go with them, the trucks drive by and then they don't do anything. Um, mm -hmm. and they're like, it's, it's so weird. Like as soon as you throw a guy in the group, like they don't, they don't do it. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, it, I, I feel so bad for, for the crap there's, women have to deal with. And there's a lot of stuff that like, is just like basically normal to do like as like a woman. And it's like, it's very confusing. Like when you like explain to guys, like what you have to do, like, that's like the, like the day-to-day -day life. Like I never have both headphones in unless I'm wearing my AirPod maxes because then I can hear through. Um, like you just cannot have both your no. headphones on like period, because that's like just not safe. If I'm um, biking, I'd only have one, but that's for bike safety. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. It's even just like walking, like even when I was walking around like the university of Utah campus and stuff like that, I would only have one headphone in. Um, cause you just like, you just never know. Um, and then, uh, like you always have to like carry your keys a certain way just in case. Um, I always check the backseat of my car. Um, when I oh get my in my God. car. Um, that one's a pretty common one. Um, is there a I, moment where you, someone was stowed away in the back seat of your car? No, not in my car personally, but it happens, right? Where people will hide in the back of your car, and then once you've like locked the door, then it's like too late, right? Like, uh, it's like a Michael Myers moment. I can't. I yeah. literally, I'm pretty sure I've seen that in a Halloween movie because mm -hmm. I've, and, I've, yeah. I've yeah, definitely watched crazy. horror movies and then like had to walk out into the dark like parking lot and like mm -hmm. you just do a little like quick in the back like what's in the back oh seat, yeah you know? mm -hmm. yeah sure. so i always check the back seat before um you're technically like there's a couple things i don't do that i know i'm supposed to do so don't come kill me please um but you're like supposed to check under your car so that way you like your like achilles heels don't get slashed what um oh my... you're supposed to <laughs> what i this is totally foreign territory for hold me. up now wait what? <laughs> wait how can someone even fit under your seat to hit your achilles heel no no, no, no not under, under your their seat, under the car, car. Under the, under the, the car. Mm -hmm. I the thing is, is my, said, nobody can fit under my car. So this is why I don't really check. But like if you're under like a car that's taller, like you're supposed to check under the car before you get close just in case. Oh, my God. Um, is this just for your area or do you do this ever, anywhere? Anywhere. I've never, I've heard never this. been familiar with this practice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and I don't grow up in like rosy. Well, yeah, well, I grew up in Utah. Like I grew up in small town Utah. So, so it's not like and small town Utah is telling you to ch check no to make sure you're it's okay. just like it's just like you just like have practices that other like it's it's almost like word of mouth where women are like oh do you do this like oh do you do this it's just oh like to God. keep other women safe right like that's how you like keep people safe like also that's why I think that's why women go around together a lot like even though it's like it's like funny like oh you went to the bathroom together it's just like safer if you like travel together yeah. like I will say if we were walking home from a party multiple occasions some of my closest friends are having to be women in college and on more than one occasion they're like they went to walk home but they're like taylor you, you need to tag along I'm like yeah you're right okay 
because mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. especially it's in, a, in a college town too like every two if i go three weeks without getting a sexual assault notification from my university that happened mm-hmm. to a college student which is always a girl um like if i go three weeks without one we're like we're doing really well okay usually it's like at least once every two weeks you get notification usually freshman dorms are usually a very common suspect Mm -hmm. for like sexual assault settings and it's like parking garages are the worst too parking well yeah if you've seen the sopranos there's i won't say more specifics but there's a really unfortunate parking garage sexual assault in in the sopranos that is yeah we didn't my my college didn't have parking garages we had parking lots which but there there was like right next to like buildings like people like were always around it or like fields or something so it was never like you park and you were you're walking through like the dark and streets and like oh who's at the he's standing there menacingly like no none of that stuff but mm-hmm. um we did have a, a fraternity get like kicked out of like you know how that's to be recognized yep. by like the university we had a university we had a fraternity get kicked out because I, like they were literally just known as the rape frat Oh, because great. They, yeah, they literally just had so many sexual assaults. Jesus. And eventually the university was like, you're you're done. We're not like, you, if you join this frat, you're not part of our student body anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're, oh my God. And what's funny about that is the dudes were probably like, yeah, that's so sick. That's how badass we are. <laughs> I hope not. Let's not, uh. let's not normalize <laughs> domestic abuse, please. <laughs> Andrew no. Tate, go fuck yourself. Oh my god, he got banned on so much stuff this week. It Not TikTok so yet, because he's making them too much money. <laughs> so I, TikTok's I was, I wasn't Andrew. familiar with this person. I think. Oh god. I, yeah, I wasn't familiar. You're lucky. <laughs> my girlfriend wasn't familiar, so we kind of like read up on him this weekend, and I was like, so he's basically just a garbage human being. Like that's really like, all. Worse I than that, like, he like he incites domestic terrorism and sexual assault acts. Like he mm-hmm. is, he is like the exact source for radicalization of young impressionable straight men Mm -hmm. to turn into uh, monsters incels (laughs) yeah well i only only looked it up because i kept seeing like people sharing like stories about like uh middle school or high school boys listening to to Mm -hmm. him and then coming into like the classroom and telling the teacher like you have to listen to me like i'm a man and like all this nonsense Mm mm-hmm and he's absolutely he's like like i genuinely the first time i saw like anything that he was doing i thought it was a joke like i genuinely thought he was memeing because he was going so hard into it where he was like like i think it was the one where he was like yeah men can't cheat but if women cheat then it's like emotional and so women aren't allowed to go around with other partners but if you understand that if guys go around with other partners, it's just sex. Like, they're not emotionally invested, so guys are allowed to go around. And I just, like, genuinely thought it was, like, a joke. And then I, like, was, like, looking through, and I was, like, he's not joking. He's, like, this is serious. (laughs) You can't, Uh, like, he's so delusional. Like, (laughs) Yeah, I hope he uh, gets banned from TikTok soon. (laughs) Dude, I hope he gets arrested. Well, yes, that's the next hopeful step, but this is the first... Getting banned will do the world so much good. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so it's yeah. and then oh god, but yeah. Anyway, what, Those people drive me crazy. <laughs> what other topics do we have around the horn? Oh, here? I have I have a question. Okay. Oh yeah, you and want to you, get your question? Okay, yes. Okay, and if you actually know the answer, then you say you know the answer. You know the answer. Okay, because like I don't want like I just want speculation here. Okay. okay. Where where do hamsters come from? evolutionarily besides nope nope besides pet stores where would you find a hamster in the wild from a mother hamster underground (laughs) no but where taylor they're where are these hamsters i don't know they're rodents so like (laughs) they're they're like groundhogs around the ground right they like go on the again on the ground but where in the ground, I don't know, Bree. I'm not a. I'm not a. Wherever their natural habitat, probably in probably somewhere. That's in... what I'm asking. Like, are they from America? Like, oh, are they? Whoa, in... Okay, this is different. Talk about where, what continent like, they originate from. Yeah, yeah. like I where are say these hamsters South coming America. from? I, I want to say, well, it's probably not a cold <laughs> region because they're not well adapted for cold. It's more a temperate climate. So I, I'm willing to bet either. Kevin, don't look it up, you asshole. 
a fancy either um, Europe we can look it up later, or we have... one of the Americas. I want to say a more temperate environment. So maybe the mid latitudes, North America or mid latitude, South America. Um, I, I have I would, no so, concept of so where they would come Can from. I just explain my... Bar. Because I was going to say South America, right? And I only say that because in my mind, hamsters are related to guinea pigs, right? And like guinea are they? pigs. Yeah, also well, in my from... mind, right? Hamsters, like they're all in the same kind of There's family. There's something called convergent evolution where animals get very similar to one another and develop similar traits, but they're not so evolutionarily close. Granted, these are both small mammal rodents. So I think yeah, yeah. I think it's not convergent evolution. They're actually related more. But than like that. in some South American cultures, like guinea pig is like a delicacy. Like they fry guinea pigs oh. and eat them. And like mm. so oh, in, yeah. my, in my mind, hamsters ha are in South America because that's probably like they're probably getting fried up and eat. How many too, calories right? is a hamster? Like 10. <laughs> no, it's more than 10. A full size like hamster. Google, like Google over, that. over, under. After you remove the fur, like, and you, like you are actually removing the fur, the I bones think, and like only eating the edible stuff. 10 I think calories. 200, at least yep. 200. No, I'm going 400. No, that's so low. Calories is a, <laughs> it's hamster. a hamster. <laughs> my, my other question is actually related to this. A little bit. Okay. okay. So on, on smaller hamsters, about forty-five grams consumed are fifty-eight kcal's. Wait. Oh. I win. Is that a serving? <laughs> a whole hamster is forty-five a grams. A whole hamster is fifty-eight calories. No, that's not right. Smaller hamsters, forty-five grams consumed. Oh my god. Is this telling Freaking me? Oh no, this is telling me the nutritional requirements of a hamster, not how many. Ah, there you go. Yeah, we mm -hmm. want to actually eat the hamster. No. This is... Hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Making the vegan look it up. Go into the nutrition <laughs> subreddit, okay? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, How many carbs are there in a hamster? Um, You could back calculate because there's – no, but then there's protein too. You wouldn't be – I don't <laughs> – I don't know how this turned into eating hamsters. Pretty but low I, carb, protein, asked, and fat. I was watching a, a video and they were like asking where hamsters come from. And I oh. was like, I, I genuinely don't know. Okay. The, the pet store. So, all right. <laughs> uh, my, my question was, it's about cannibalism. And oh, God. <laughs> I asked this question at Carpool Game for the Nintendo Drive. And if, if octolings, for people who don't know, octolings are like a certain race of create like humanoid creature in splatoon mm -hmm. and they're like they're like their head like their hair is like almost like octopus um extremities looks like that and stuff like that so is an octopus so if you eat an octoling mm -hmm. as a human is that cannibalism and the second question is if an octopus ate an octoling is that cannibalism is it like half cannibalism how does this work here is this so I would imagine it's not cannibalism. Damn it. Because the only way that it can be cannibalism is if you're the same species. Mm -hmm. What if it's and like since, and even if it's a hybrid, like for example, like let's like take like a real hybrid example, like a liger. Like if a tiger ate a liger, it wouldn't be cannibalism. Yes, it would. No, because they're different species. Like All right, I think you're right. Damn yeah. it. I'm I'm with Bree. If it's a different species, then it's not cannibalism. cannibalism I'm not saying it wouldn't scale. be messed up. I don't think cannibalism. And I wouldn't is eat them. I want to be very clear. <laughs> what hamsters? No, well, Octoys. I wouldn't eat hamsters either. <laughs> but I wouldn't eat any of these things. But People like, eat I was rabbit thinking, routinely. Like, Hunters. Like, I, I was thinking like a centaur might be a better like question like, because it, the mythological is that, creature is that yeah. can't is that cannibalism? Hmm. You cut off the because, top half of his body. You're goddamn right. It is. I, I see now I'm kind of being swayed that that would be cannibalism. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can. Mm. I think on a technicality, it wouldn't be cannibalism. But again, centaurs... I still would not be eating this. Yeah, you kill, you kill a lot of centaurs in God of War 3. I think just because the octolings <laughs> and the inklings have sort of like human characteristics, right. but they aren't like human DNA, right? Like there's nothing human about them. They look First of human. all, they can turn into like paint and like right travel and like squids. Yeah, there's some sort of like weird morph. Like Wait, I think they just taking that animals. Form, right? Octolings like... can turn into squids. <laughs> Doesn't it sound a little weird? Yeah, it should be octopuses, but well, maybe it is. I just maybe, I haven't played octopus. octopus. No, there's squid. Octopuses. Uh, octop. I want to say octopi. Uh, 
I'm not gonna say it. Hamsters well, were say first it. discovered <laughs> in Syria. They discovered. also live in, in Syria? Keyword, keyword discovered, not they, originated. They also live in Greece, Romania, Belgium, and northern China. In the wild, they like to live in warm, dry areas like steeps, sand dunes, and the edge oh, of deserts. I had a total I was totally oh wrong God. about what environment they liked. I guess it's just because domestication totally warped my understanding. That's crazy. It's not at all what I thought. Like, yeah. Honestly, if you had said that they just come from the pet store, <laughs> the pet store just made them up, I would believe you. <laughs> what? Is, well, we've, you know, Honeycrisp apples were made in a lab. Oh, they're so good. Yo, I love they're, Honeycrisp apples. They're engineered to, dude. When they get in season, I was I was riding my high from peaches, and I'm like, give me the Honeycrisps when they're like a dollar fifty a pound. I'm ready. You know what? My favorite is cotton candy grapes. No. There's nothing better than cotton candy nope. grapes. Cotton no candy is about. an illegal flavor. So they're grapes that they like have literally like they bred after like a long time to taste like cotton candy. I don't like it. Nope. And it's so good. What about just and green they're grapes? so expensive? Red grapes. They are like green grapes. Regular, just regular grapes. Red I, grapes are better than green grapes. That's I could like smash a whole pound of grapes. I could like, as well. There are it grapes in the house. I might finish the whole bag in a day. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's for not sure. True. I've I done it not, multiple times. Yeah. I will not eat grapes with seeds. No. Look, seeds I've never are had a I've never had a seeded grape. Really? I have, and they're disgusting. I just pluck it off the grapevine and eat it. Yeah. So oh, yeah. They sell grapes with seed. They're bigger, but like you bite mm -hmm. into them and they got like hard seeds in the middle. You got to spit they're out. So they're annoying. awful. No, I haven't. Okay. It's like it's like the same experience as eating a sunflower seed. Oh. And I don't like that either. I don't like sunflower seeds either. I, I eat kiwis with the skin on. I don't give a fuck. So does my brother. It's fine. It's fine. I also eat the leaves off the strawberries. No. Uh, no Wait. No. While we're on this tangent, can I also ask, do rabbits come from the same place? The ground? Know. I think rabbits come from North America now that I think about it. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I feel like they do. Where do rabbits come from you know what i almost bought a, a so i should have now now that i'm like saying this out loud it sounds messed up but my friend one of my friends from college bred rabbits to like eat them um, oh my god the fleming bad. giants and he offered me one of the rabbits you monster <laughs> not to eat to like i would have kept it as a pet no he, like, he's, he's like, a he's monster like, yeah no he is a monster but <laughs> You can't. Jeez. The Flem. Those are. They're okay. For if you don't know what those types of rabbit breeds are, they are massive, <laughs> like dog-sized rabbits. All yeah. right, like they are. They're huge. bigger than cats for sure. Yes, for yes. Sure. They're. For, listen, I love rabbits and bunnies, and like, <laughs> oh, I absolutely love these animals. And right, the so fact you're that, just obsessed with rabbits. The fact that anyone eats these animals is is appalling to me. But they are found in Europe portions of central and south africa or southern africa the indian subcontinent some some sumatra some i don't Sumatra. Know that yes thank you oh, and japan you japan oh. they're not native to the americas not that this says oh my god i hate being american yeah we just steal well, everything they... horses <laughs> though aren't horses no aren't no, horses, horses are horses? not no they're not america. they were brought over from like yeah they were actually yeah what's yeah. about Corn, America's corn. Corn is our shit. Corn. I was I was about to say potatoes, but then I realized it's the Irish. All right. Yeah, yeah they don't, mm. they're not real. No. So, yeah, so I like I genuinely almost had like a rabbit as a pet. Oh like I was going to get a Fleming. I had, I had rabbits as a uh, like outdoor ones you kept in cages when I was growing up, <laughs> but it it has been I've been talking about this for years actually about getting a rabbit as like an indoor pet. Mm -hmm. uh, because you can like you can train them to use the litter box mm -hmm. all you have to do is like wireproof your apartment basically like you put some stuff so they can't chew up all the wires but like they act a lot like cats like they'll come over and like play and cuddle with you and like be like but for, for me the kicker is then they'll die in five years it's like then every five years you have to mourn the loss of your do. animal Right. I don't think all of rabbits them do. Don't some, die. Really? some of them live longer. The ones that are sad are rats. Rats only live two or three years. Oh, how long do rabbits live, Kev? I mean, look. Oh, like nine point. years. Oh, okay. It's not that's like terrible. A dog. It's not, yeah, it's, that's not, that's well, not that like much a big shorter. Dog. Yeah, it's not that yeah. much shorter than like a dog or a, a cat, though. Do Cats I will live say up to like 20, 20, 20 years sometimes, even longer. Sometimes. My cat lived to fourteen. Yeah, yeah. I, I think most of my cats have been like the mid teens. No, but... fifteen. 15, yeah. I will say, if you get a rabbit 
and you get two of them because they like to have a partner. Okay. Um, if one of them dies, you need to let the other one see the body and mourn it. Otherwise, it'll be get depressed. Like they are very bonded. <laughs> they need they need to say goodbye to their dead friend or partner. Yeah, so it won't get dep- it won't get depressed as long as they can see the body. There you go. That's right. It's like, That's right. It's like oh, they really murder. did show me. Okay, now I'm not depressed anymore. Mm. He's, oh, he's in a better place. Wait, how do you know this much about rap? <laughs> I know. El- do you know elephants mourn? Elephants cry too. I did know that they have funerals. They also stomp before major natural events like earthquakes and tsunamis. Successfully predict them before they're detected on relevant instruments. Guess on National Geographic, you know what I'm saying, guys? Yeah. Animal talk. Have you guys seen what is it like Coyote Peterson on YouTube? Like no. the makeshift mm-hmm. North American sea burrowing guy. He stings himself a lot, and I find that entertaining. Oh, you see the dude that took the um, killer bee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen. I'm him. Coyote Peterson, and I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt myself for you. He like he lets him sting it, and then he he'll like the few I've seen. He's like, oh, you can see the venom going through his arms will like tighten up, and the muscles will constrict, and he'll be like, thinks it's so interesting. Like, bro. You're about to go into like anaphylactic shock or no, something. No, he won't. No, yeah, obviously, but like, what are you, what are you doing? One of his recent ones, he did a video, and it was sponsored by like a company that makes anti, not anti venom, but like, um, sting relief cream or whatever. And I'm like, you know, very sp- very niche product, but for this channel, good product mm-hmm. placement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is good marketing. Is he yeah. a disclaimer that's like, don't try this at home? Yeah, like, while he's trying in his backyard next to like a barbecue grill. Yeah, like yeah. A lot of the stings, some of the stings he's actually in the wilderness, but like a lot of the recent ones, he's just like in his yard and he has a couple of no, bugs, very, bugs that can sting him well. I feel like it's such a guy thing to like enjoy like people getting hurt by animals or bugs or like, like also like the jackass stuff. That's like that's it's just like i'm not so... a big fan of jackass me either to be honest i i, I kind of liked it when i was a kid but like now i'm just looking i look at it i'm like that's not really funny like, like it's kind of just yeah, dumb. Dude. like the absolute extreme of what you're thinking Bree is like filthy frank before well before he turned into joji like the absolute shocks the the most shock worthy mm-hmm. slapstick i hate that stuff isn't that funny some slapstick is funny because like tom and jerry i love when you get episode of tom, tom and jerry, and jerry. i like yeah. I like funny stuff where people aren't like getting absolutely smashed and hurt. <laughs> I, I like them being funny and getting. Uh, I, um, I speak of getting hurt. Have you guys ever played those like games where if you like don't hit the button in time, you get shocked? Have yeah, you ever no, but I've seen people play them. Yeah, those I genuinely think are funny because like I do think like, that's funny. You have a lot of tension because like, it's like. Yeah. You yeah, yeah, it's not devastating, but like you and your friends are sitting there like you waiting for the light and then whoever hits it last, your like arm just starts shaking because they're like a shock. Like uh I, I think that is pretty fun. That'd be a nice alternative to Russian roulette, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't die. Think about it. If you ask everyone who's played Russian roulette, if they survived a hundred it's a hundred percent. Well, we uh we discovered where <laughs> hamsters come from, Brie. So uh, your question I appreciate has that. Been thoroughly answered, I believe. What about you? Yeah. Have? Yeah. What's your question, Kevin? Uh, my topic that I wanted to bring to the table was what's something you hated as a child, but you like now. And I I want to give a little backstory that made me think of this because okay. my answer is the Dollar Tree. Okay. I've ne- okay. Okay. I hated going to the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, whatever, as mm-hmm. a child. Because in my child brain, I was like, this is, first of all, it's boring. They didn't like have toys. But also I was like, everything's a dollar here. It must be garbage. Like um, it's for poor people. Like I had, I had a very, as a child, I was like, Let, let's not go here. Kevin, you as, weren't that wealthy yourself as a kid either. I know. <laughs> I was very poor as a child, in fact. So it made sense I was there. But as an adult, man, the dollar store, I go there and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't always like it. All right. My girlfriend loves going there to get like cheap decor, but I always, I'm like, I don't want to go to the dollar store. It's, it's, I still think it's boring, but in terms of getting like cheap household items, like toilet paper, paper towels, like those, the stuff that if you go to other places, probably costs a few dollars, you can get everything for a dollar there. It's great. It saves so much money. It's so convenient. They're everywhere. 
All right. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just the dollar store as an adult is pretty wonderful. All right. Nice. I like the dollar store, but it's also like kind of, um, it kind of gives me like anxiety because it's like not organized really. If that makes sense, like everything is kind of like, and and I don't blame them because it's like there's not a lot of employees, and the employees they do have they don't pay a lot, um, and so but it's just like it's just so chaotic, like stuff is just thrown everywhere, and like the organization doesn't really make sense, like as far as like how the aisles work. But you're chaotic, and so that gives yes, but I can't see chaotic things because that gives me anxiety. My room okay. can be chaotic because then I know where everything is. Okay, but like like stores, I like have to go in order like like every single store i've been into more than once i have an order that i go through the store and i like have OCD. to follow this yeah it's like it's it's something listen okay. i have a bunch of flavors of mental illness and i don't know right. which ones they are but i'm okay with it a lot of ways to bake a good cake yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah i i'm very good baker i will say so, i'm a professional so, baker for two, for two so what's days, something so. that you hated as a child that you love now Ooh. Um, I'm going to go with very similar to you thrift store. I absolutely there's like like a day where you like do a, like cafe or boba and then you do bookstore and thrift store. That's like that is my day. And if you can get a crystal shop in there as well. ooh, that's like a perfect day right there. Um, But yeah, as as a kid, like I always remember and it wasn't like ever my parents saying anything, but like I remember the kids would always be like, oh, you go to the thrift store. Like, are you poor? And like we weren't. So what if I am? But but like the kids would always say stuff like that. Like and so it would be like you can't go to the I was like, mom, I don't want clothes from here because then people will think we're poor kind of thing. Um, And that's really, like, really messed up. But that's like a different discussion for how messed up kids are. <laughs> um but like i now love the thrift store like i like because you find some of the most weird things like i have a, a dress that's like got garden tools on it and it's one of my favorite wow. dresses and you just find like the coolest stuff there and um it also helps with environment stuff so awesome taylor uh yeah i was thinking about this for a while and i can't <laughs> I, I don't know if I've arrived to a conclusive answer. There's like some things that aren't quite when I was a kid, but it's something I've warmed up to over the past like five years. Okay. That's like highway driving. Interesting. I started out driving being so incredibly scared to merge into a highway. And it was this way for like two years until one day I realized, oh, my front left mirror wasn't positioned correctly. And I was so scared because I couldn't fucking see the traffic to my left if I'm merging here or coming from the right. Or and But after I fixed it, I started enjoying it a hell of a lot more than local driving just because I like to cruise and listen to stuff and turn it into mm -hmm. making the drive to and from my university became more cathartic for me than stress-inducing. Of course, there's always dumb people on the road, but uh, if the trap it's not a high traffic time. Like if it's not rush hour, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm usually having a good time on the highway. I don't mind driving on the highway uh, because I do just put it on cruise control, play some music, like sing my heart out. Um, you know, the, the good times. I will say that doesn't apply to New Jersey, New Jersey. Oh, you, no. Yep. You're right. You, you can go, you, you can go screw yourself. Uh, you and your dumb highways. First of all, you have exits on both sides. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. And the highways have lights. Your toll systems don't make any sense, all right? You you're like, oh, if you're on the left, you can you need an easy pass, but you got to veer off to the right and pay. Not clearly indicated to anyone that's not here. And if you miss those tolls, they'll send you bills in the mail with a fifty dollar administration fee. All right, five dollars. Fifty dollars. I missed five dollars in tolls on New Jersey Parkway, and I had to pay a hundred and five dollars. Did you get easy pass since? Uh, I haven't been since. I haven't been on the highways, but you better damn sure I'm getting Easy Pass next time. Yeah, they're I mean, living just, in the past. Just get it now, because I know New York. It applies to New York, New Jersey, a lot of the Mid Atlantic states. Even Virginia, I think, takes it. I just don't understand this is all why. Foreign to me. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like a centralized way to scan your card to administer a toll to you. It's basically mm -hmm. a barcode that you put that you stick on your windshield, where when you pass through tolls, rather than you giving a person 
your cash, your money, it will like scan your easy pass and then it'll bill you digitally or in the mail, uh, charge you that toll rather than you mm -hmm. having to pay it outright. So you can't, you can't, you literally can't forget as long as you're going slow enough to easy pass to be detected, which is usually very forgiving. Um, most of the places I don't go, like there are some toll places in San Francisco area, but, um, in general, like I don't, I can't think of any tolls in Utah. Um, and just around the San Jose area, there's no tolls that I can think of either. Wow. It's, it's so New York, Massachusetts and like other surrounding states have gotten rid of to actual toll booths so like people in them now they just have like overhead stuff that scans your like license plate as you drive by and then they mail you tolls after the fact New Jersey hasn't quite caught up because they're just slow in everything they do they still have the man operated tolls where you have to stop give them two dollars in cash god you know uh but I don't understand because like you clearly have the ability to get my license plate and mail me things because you did it. So you're telling me in a few years when you get rid of these man operated toll booths, like you're going to the administration fee that you suddenly have to give me right now is no longer going to be there. It doesn't make any, you're doing the same amount of work. You're just being dicks about it. Reach Kev. <laughs> Sorry. I hate New Jersey. That's right. So does oh everyone. my God. Jersey Shore was pretty cool though. Going back to like highway driving versus just like street driving, I actually prefer street driving so I can roll down the windows and listen to music so you get fresh air and music. Um, on wow. the highway, you can't really hear music if you've got the windows rolled down. What about, do you have um, AC in your car? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, just like the windows rolled down. Yeah, it's just I like fresh it. air. Well, fresh relative to like, I'm not actually getting fresh air, but it's fresh-ish. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, fresh polluted air. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> I uh, I think we might be on the same page here, Taylor. Um, I don't like the windows rolled down. I don't like the noise it makes. I don't yeah, like do I. the air. I, I air conditioning. Even if you're just nothing. like driving on the streets, the only the only time I'm rolling a window down is if maybe this is the only time I quote unquote litter. If there's like a the pit of a peach I have, mm -hmm. mm. and I'm driving at low speeds and I see like a forest or trees on one side of the road. I'll toss it out the window. Biodegradable. It's just like compost. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. other than that, if I'm not, if I'm, oh, or if there's a mosquito that gets stuck in the car, I yes. will roll the oh, windows God. down and create a vacuum environment to make sure mm -hmm. it dies or again gets sucked out of the car. Yep. Um, but other than that, it's, uh, I like rolling my windows up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I That's can't good. stand my windows down. I, I will blast the AC full. I don't, I know I'm damaging the environment. All right. Well, the windows don't keep me cool enough. Okay. I'm going to be, uh, my back I'm, will be sweaty covered if I don't I'm do that. Affordable emissions are from top 100 companies. Like your individual yeah, energy use kept yeah. in your car is, is not that bad. It's actually corporate right. bullshits making you think yep. it's your fault when it's not. Same thing with recycling. It's like corporations and gas companies and stuff like that. And cows. Yeah. I, I eat beef rarely. So, but I do eat it sometimes. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, like, eat, like I, I don't eat a lot of meat, honestly. It's not very good. Damn. I'm trying to build my body so I have to. That's, and that's there was there was a vegetarian option that had was as protein efficient per calorie as like chicken, chicken. fish, yeah. or like 93% or above lean ground turkey was. Like if there are vegetarian options that match that nutrition profile, I'd probably ditch meat. <laughs> I do it out of more utility. The only meat I actually like for flavor is really uh a, like a smash burger like i'm not a big steak guy i don't smash burger is trash if you're not a smash there's like, actually like a, a fatty really... cut of beef oh, okay okay i think you meant like a restaurant smash Sorry. burger no no not like, smash no. burger like a smashed burger or brisket like that's the only time i actually like the flavor the intrinsic flavor of the meat otherwise to me i don't really care mm, my my pick would uh, is like my poison is going to be korean barbecue I haven't had it yet. Um, I ever want to so Korean bad. Korean barbecue is like, there's just nothing better than Korean barbecue. Oh my God. It's like, it's so good. And it's like, it's like the one time that I'm like, yes, please give me all of the meat. <laughs> Everything, every time else I'm like, do I have to have meat? Like, you know what I mean? Like every time there's like, you it's don't. like pasta and then they're like, Bolognese. but it's like pasta with meat or, or meat it's sauce. like soup, yeah. but it's like soup with meat. And you I live like, in California, uh, though, like one of the most vegan friendly places, like vegetarian, like 
so I when I was in LA, every everywhere I went, it was like, we have vegan meals. And I'm like, great. Yeah. And if I like, but the thing is, is that the most of the time the meals, they have different dishes for like the vegetarian and vegan options. And I'm not vegetarian or vegan. I just don't like like I just don't like chicken and, and stuff like that. So like if you're giving me an Alfredo, like I will if I can, I will ask to like have no chicken in the Alfredo because I'm really like I'm like wouldn't that <sighs> just be fettuccine Alfredo then? Mm-hmm. Like that's what but it is. It's always it for some reason there's always chicken in these fried I've, fettuccine I've Alfredo. Been served multiple fettuccine Alfredos with no chicken. Mm-hmm. I'm really good at making Alfredo actually. Just to brag. I went to Italian last weekend and I had a um, vegetarian <laughs> sausage in my – or uh, so, meatballs in so, my – Was it spicy sausage though? No, it wasn't. No, it was so, yeah. Like they have a specific – vegetarian meatballs food. have a specific taste. Like how do I say this? Did it taste like frozen vegetarian meatballs or was it much more gourmet? Like did it have that intrinsic vegetarian meatball taste? I don't know how to describe it but you like know what – Like the texture thingy? You, you know. You know the taste when you taste it. That's all I'll say. I don't. I don't know about the. T- I don't really eat uh, the the fake meatballs often. I do understand what you're talking about, Brianna, with the texture. Because when you cut some some fake meat, when you cut it right, you kind of it has like that little spongy look to it. You yeah, know what I'm talking about? Know what you're talking about? Yeah, 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 for sure. It, it was definitely one of those. It was like it tasted fine, but it definitely okay. like if you look, it at has the, the texture. Of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's like that it's like honey, trying to that, be meat yeah that so honeycomb bad. shape though. <laughs> like you can see like where it's bonded together. And I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. The Morningstar mm-hmm. vegetarian sausage patties, though, top tier. They're good. Yeah, I, I like. I don't. I eat meat, but I love them, so I just buy them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> My man. Um, mm. yeah. So yeah, I'm like weirdly vegetarian slash vegan, but not on purpose. So. Well, that is kind of on purpose. You just don't like meat. <clears throat> yeah, it's like it's. But the thing is, is it's like I'm not intentionally trying to be vegetarian. If that makes oh, sense. Oh, you just happen so, to not like meat for your palate. I just happen to not like meat because it doesn't taste good. It's interesting mm-hmm. because listen, as a, as a, someone's been vegan for uh, like seven years now or something, meat tastes delicious. I I will be the first to admit that meat tasted mm-hmm. delicious. Bacon top Not tier. No, bacon's gross. Oh, turkey. Oh, here's chicken. a hot take. I prefer the taste of turkey bacon over pork bacon. So did I. So I'll, did take I. That to, I'll take that to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. It wasn't as fatty. The f- fat on meat always grossed me out. So like whatever it was depends. the least fatty thing is what I wanted. If it's intramuscular, like if there's a big like bulb of fat, I'm like, no. But if it's like intramuscular, muscular, like the tenderness of a chicken thigh compared to a breast, sometimes for me, I'm like, yes, this is what I want. This is what I want. Most of the time I like to texture the breast more, but like with steaks, that's huge, Kev. So it makes sense. You're not a big steak guy when you mm-hmm. were meat eating. Yeah, so now, like, yeah. Do you guys like Canadian bacon, or did you? I guess ham? no. It's just it's just fucking you mean ham. ham. Yeah, I, I don't do like not ham. like. I do oh, not like Canadian. As I got bacon. older, oh, it's disgusting. This is kind of a reverse of what we were talking about earlier. As I got older, I've gained more. I've gained more disdain every day for ham. <laughs> really? Like very, especially like the thick cut, like almost steak hams. Oh, I'm like, this is those gross. You mean those? Breakfa- I don't like a lot those, of those breakfast meats. hams. No, they're not breakfast. They're like big, packaged. Like ham. almost like dinner mm-hmm. hams, like a st- in terms of thickness, almost steak steak level of thickness. Or it's here. like almost like the yeah, we eat those Thanksgiving for meal. In New York. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm like not, some I really waffles don't like and home fries with a big Ew. slab of ham. But one of the hardest things for me was giving up deli meats because I'm like, this I really hate, isn't I... good for me. But like giving up deli turkey, I'm like, oh, I don't want. Yeah, so but I, I had to do. It. I had to do it. So I make veggie like sandwiches with a lot of Greek yogurt now, but. Oh, veggie I'm... sandwiches? So underrated, I have to say. Well, we got on food again on accident. I just... Well, yeah, of course. It's a, it's a food <laughs> podcast that is in the Patreon exclusive food podcast. Yeah. 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 Wait for the actual food podcast, right? That's where you're going to get, like, learn how to cook and, and <clears throat> eat healthy and not just hear us talk about deli meats. I um, don't like deli meats, man. They're so disgusting and slimy. I will say Italian hoagie, I I'll, I could go for no. it. I used to, I worked at a deli in high school. Um, Slime. Did you cut and your finger on meat slicer? I did cut. I have cut. <laughs> my yes, finger from meat let's slicer. go. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. I, I did cut my. Yeah, yeah, no. It, it just happens. Like uh, you'll forget to put the blade back up or something. Go to clean it and like slice your finger. Like it just happens. Like um, anyway. But no, I used to. We made thick subs too at this deli. Like 
pounds of meat on your sub. They were like, yeah, it was ridiculous the amount. But I would constantly in high school just like slice some meat and be like, all right, a few slices for you, a few slices for Kevin, like just mm-hmm. consistently like shave some off. That doesn't seem food it. safe, Kev. Were you wearing gloves? Yes, I was wearing gloves. Of course I was Still, wearing gloves. Still. And like, licking the gloves. No, no, I'd wait till <laughs> after I was done to eat my pile oh, of meat. Oh, okay. We got a six inch oh. sub every day for, for our lunch break or whatever. I um, okay. get a full 12 inch. Come on. So right. I will, I'm going to now back up a lot of what I've said. <laughs> so you guys might get angry with me, which is fine. But I, I, okay, I hate, I hate sandwich meat, but I really like when you go to like a grocery store and they have like the actual, like, like you're talking about like where it's like the actual sliced meat and stuff like that. Harmon's, which is a Utah exclusive store, has the best meat, the best deli meat. Well, that's what I'm There's talking this... about when I say deli. I'm talking about prepackaged. I'm saying you get yeah. it from the deli. Me too. Me too. I was talking about prepackaged. No, prepackaged oh, no. Deli, is gross. deli meat applies to all of it, but not specifically <clears throat> stuff that you go to the deli counter and yeah. say, I want a pound of this, so, pound of that. There is like, there's this, um, it's port. What is it called? Port something, but it's like a roast beef, like sliced meat. And it, it's so good. Sorry, what's it's it my called? favorite. I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's like, it's <clears throat> port. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to look port? this up. Wait, what? No, port, port like P O R T. Oh, port. Okay. Uh, slice. Okay. Hold on. Is it like a brand? Like there's boar's um, head. I, I know me. that it's, I think it's from boar's head. Port. We had this home. Uh, my deli used to have a Cajun roast beef, and it was so good. Yeah. Hmm. Can't find Porterhouse. It. No, I'm gonna find this now. I'm Porterhouse? like going on. I'm going to Harmon's. Wonder if it's uh, Porterhouse. I don't know why I'm thinking that. It's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's not Porterhouse. As soon as I hear it, I will know it. But let me. Porterhouse steak. I wonder if it is Porterhouse. You know what? If I had, if I was still friends with, uh, if I was roast beef, where would I be? Mm. Mm, I cannot find it. I will find it and I'll, I'll tell you guys about it later, but there's this meat and it like almost looks like it's like a, like a medium rare steak. Cause it kind of has that, like, like almost like drips like blood, but it's not mm-hmm. blood. Um, what it's, is- it's like, it's no, it's wine basically oh, okay um and it's like the meat is so expensive but it was i would always get it i would i would just like limit myself i'm like okay whatever five dollars can buy <laughs> that's all i'll get yeah. or whatever but man i really loved that and a sandwich with that meat is good the, other than the, that sandwich is disgusting the most disgusting thing i saw working at a deli was people that would come in and ask for um like raw ground beef you know the stuff you'd use for hamburgers yeah but then they then they would pick it out of the bag and just eat it nope raw. i've never seen that in my life that's bad yeah yeah and second was people that came in and ordered liverwurst because I liver found it. liverwurst is the most vile meat in the is world it like a sausage right worst Yes, it is. It is. It's a. It's a German sausage. Um, but you have to cut it in the plastic package, otherwise it'll fall apart. Okay. And it's it. It's cat food. It's basically like people buy it to feed to uh, their cats. I wonder if this contributed towards your veganism. <laughs> My yeah, yeah maybe, maybe. Like your your disgust. Not saying that as like an insult or anything. Like my yeah. My mom has been vegetarian since she was like eight years old. She just didn't like the taste of meat. And then That's as she got older, she could, also the environmental side came to it. But she also worked out as a deli, at a deli as a teenager, cut meat for people, stuff like that. But So deli. I just I just shared it in the chat, just so you guys can see it. But oh. it's called London Port. It's a top round roast beef, and it is it Port's is head. Yeah, okay. gift on there. <laughs> I love this meat so is London, much. Is London Port the name of a cut, or is that the name brand of this for, for Port's head? I'm curious. I don't know. I don't have oh, answers for you. Like I just know. Every free. single result I see is Boar's Head. So I think this is a Boar's Head product. It is. A I think it product. is. It says, yeah. right, it's on the website. Yeah. Yeah. I like how it says gluten free, milk free, as if you have to specify that for meat. Hey, you know, mm-hmm. glu- milk comes from cows. You don't know if there's not milk in your beef. I'm just <laughs> Travels up through the, the udders. Oh, into- don't you think it's weird that we drink another animal's milk? I do. Oh, on a base but, level, that seems very odd. And Taylor, I do, Taylor, I do think that's weird. But 
We're going to talk about that on the Patreon post show. So oh. if, if you want to hear our discussion about that, make sure you oh, go over to patreon.com <laughs> slash save the game media. Any tier can get you the Patreon post show. Uh, so for everyone here at save the game media, we'll see you next week. We're going to go do the post show. Goodbye.